behind every great marketing strategy is great marketing data. Let your data lead. Visit the page to learn more. Hi, everyone. Welcome to AdAge Remotely. I'm Janine Poggi, Assistant Managing Editor here at AdAge. Thanks so much for joining us. And a special thank you to our sponsor, Salesforce, for helping to make this live stream happen. Live stream shopping has certainly taken on a new life with media and digital behemoths from YouTube to Amazon, all trying their hands at the format. Joining me today to discuss the next evolution in live shopping is someone who is certainly an expert in the space. Joy Mangano launched her career by selling her Miracle Mop on HSN and QVC. Now she is helping to create a new form of live shopping on TV with a competition show on USA Network that promotes viewers purchasing the products featured in each episode in real time. And she's here to tell us all about it. I'm Joy Mangano, inventor and entrepreneur with billions of products in homes across America. And my new show, America's Big Deal, is USA's new shoppable live competition series. Each week, entrepreneurs take the stage to pitch their products to the nation. But whose product ends up in stores is up to you. Shop live while you watch and decide whose dreams come true in America's Big Deal. America's Big Deal. Shop live and decide. Thursdays starting October 14th on USA. Hi, Joy. Hi, Janine. I'm telling you, I get excited when I see that. I think shopping is a sport. <laughs> I, that's exciting. It, does, it definitely has like an NFL like sports feel to it, that that yeah. promo for sure. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's a great it's a great show. Thank you for taking the time to, to be on the show. Yeah. So we are very excited. Obviously, you know, the topic couldn't be more apropos for me. Um, and with this new venture, you know, NBC is amazing. Um, we're on USA Network, right? It's the first live shoppable competition show, if you can believe that. And, you know, the mission came. So in this last year and a half, you know, I, I, I believe so much in entrepreneurs and small businesses. And I said, what can I do? This is my time to do something and give back. And so it, the mission was to lift up entrepreneurs and small businesses, showcase them and literally have them have the ability to sell live, right? So the viewer becomes the consumer, becomes the buyer in real time. And we have two shows under our belt. It's a very big project. It really is. And nobody's done it before. And there are reasons why. <laughs> so it's, a, it's really a mammoth, um, you know, project. But you know, we it's been amazing. We've sold out of product with both shows. And you know, the winner gets an opportunity to turn around and the retail panel, which consists of Lowe's, uh, Macy's, and myself, QVC, and HSN, we represent over $120 billion of revenue sales annually. The winner who has sold the most product on America's Big Deal gets to turn to the panel, and we vie for them with a retail purchase order of minimum six figures. It's just amazing. And I hope that it inspires so many small businesses and entrepreneurs to know, you never know what life brings, right? So keep going. Well, I definitely want to hear more about the show and get into more of that. But for those of you watching at home, as a reminder, if you like what you see on Ad Age Remotely, please like, subscribe, share, or retweet this post. And if you have any questions or comments during this conversation, feel free to leave them on our social channels That's and right. we'll try Bring to them answer on. them here. Bring them on. <laughs> so, America's Big Deal debuted earlier this month on USA Network. Joy, can you tell us a little bit about the inception of the show and format? You said this was really something, and it, it sounds like definitely during COVID times, that you felt passionate to bring to the audience. But how about the format itself and this idea of being able to shop live in real time and promote these products in real time? Well, what, what came about? How did that format come about? Right. So first of all, for in two ways, right? You, the entrepreneur has the ability to sell, right? So that gives them, in, nobody's a loser then, right? Because they're there, they're selling their product. But, you know, it's interesting, you know, the, the consumer, and certainly it's been exacerbated in these recent times where they're watching, they may be watching a show with products or things like that. Then they have to actually physically go somewhere to purchase them. This is the opposite. 
I always loved instant gratification. <laughs> so, it's, so they can watch and they, as they purchase, right? So um, it's on USA 9 p.m. Um, and 8 central time on Thursday nights. And we have, you know, the, they can just hit the QR code with their phone. They get right in or go to um, shopamericasbigdeal.com, right? And they can order within seconds, as you know. And that product is because we have it in inventory, right? So that's something that's critical to me because that's part of that whole experience of well, especially that. right now when we're talking about supply chain issues exactly. and the holiday season where things are selling out or never making it to shelves, you know, that's I think especially an important point. Exactly. So that so that consumer now, the viewer has turned into the buyer, is going to get that product, is going to be shipped out in a couple of days. Then you have this entrepreneur who has this stage in front of America, which is, you know, to me is the epitome of the American dream. So when you hear these stories, when you hear what some of them have gone through, not just in the last year and a half, but as well over the course of their lives, for them to be standing up on that stage and talking about products that, you know, you scratch your head and you say, didn't this exist before, <laughs> you know, or, or, you know, it's, uh, this is amazing. I have to have it. That's the level of these products. They're that incredible. And both our winners, the last week and the week before are now going to become businesses. I mean, these are formidable products and, you know, we were, we, we fight over them. I mean, any retailer wants a product that they've already had a barometer from the buyer that they want. Right. So it's really, I say it's just this per perfect circle of commerce yeah. and everybody benefits, right? Mm -hmm. So, and most of all, for me personally, I think that anybody watching, being an entrepreneur, being an inventor and starting a small business and, you know, and I'm all about product. I see the world through product. I hope it inspires everybody to keep going, you know, if they're wondering about, you know, what, what has happened in the last year with their small business or, you know, or a product, it, it really should inspire them, I hope, to know that if if you stop, you have a 100% chance of getting nowhere. But if you keep going, at least your odds are better. Absolutely. So from a consumer perspective, what have you seen? I know it's been only been two weeks. You mentioned a couple of products maybe selling out. What is the willingness from the viewer's standpoint to sit there actively scan this code, be taken to a page and, and shop while watching TV. Exactly. So the, so this, I always say that the consumer today is the smartest consumer ever, right? And, you know, they are, we're watching and, you know, you have that audience that knows that if they can buy and get it right away, they're, they're getting so accustomed to, this is, we think, you know, this is the beginning and it is, there's never been a live shoppable competition show. It's quite a behemoth to take on, but you know, in other forms, right. The, you know, especially I think this last year and a half has you really fueled forward motion in many regards. You know, I, I've been in business for over 20 years and I, I, all my meetings and so on, mostly were in person. Now zoom is part of my vocab, you know, my vernacular every day. Right. So things have changed. And I think that, you know, because there was a bit of, you know, kind of, you know, that, that, um, ability to get out and about has had significantly changed. It really ingratiated the notion of people who hadn't really, you know, embraced it of, you know, live streaming, the live streaming market, which is, growing massively, massively. Yeah. I mean, we're really seeing brands across the board, a lot of the digital brands from Amazon, YouTube, Facebook, all trying their hand with different live stream products, live stream shows. You know, you started your career though at HSN, which essentially is a, a pioneer in live shopping. What yep. do you make of this rush into the live shopping space? And really how is it different than what networks like that, you know, have done for decades? Right. So they are the, we are the leaders of live video retailing, but, you know, across all platforms, but what, you know, what's different is that, that when I started, that was a destination channel, right? And it was obviously live shopping. You can talk about the features and benefits. Now, 
So just to put it in a little perspective, the live streaming market in 2021 here in the United States will be $11 billion. In 2023, it will be $25 billion. But let's take that around the world for a second. China, for instance, in 2020, it was a $150 billion business, the live streaming market. And in 2021, it'll reach $300 billion. These, this is massive, right? So, you know, for me, you know, I look at this and people are paying attention to this. Businesses are paying attention to this small or large Amazon. My daughter is, you know, is with Amazon and she does live streaming with Amazon, right? And so everybody, you know, when you talk about that, form of uh, marketing, you're not just marketing your product, you're giving that viewer, that consumer an experience, and then they don't have to take this time package and go find it if it's a beauty item or, you know, whatever, you're giving them that ability to, to get it right there. And so it's really, I'm, for me personally, being a product person, I think it's, again, that per perfect circle of commerce. And, um, and I think people are grasping onto it in a much faster pace, obviously, because of the recent times, right? So, um, you know, people who might not have never, uh, you know, I never ordered groceries, I used to always look, go and want to feel the, you know, the fruits and vegetables, but we changed, right? Times have changed. And I think this really has um, you know, fuel this whole industry and for all good reasons, I think too. Yeah. I, I want to talk about your new product launch and the strategy around that. Before we get to that, we have a quick message from our sponsor Salesforce. Sure. Marketing trends can change suddenly. Your marketing strategy should change with it. Let your data lead. Visit the page to learn more. I'm Janine Poggi and I'm here with Joy Mangano. As a reminder, if you're watching at home and you have any questions or comments, feel free to post those on our social channels. We'll, we'll chat about them here. Uh, Joy, so you recently launched a new line of natural cleaning products, Clean Boss. How is launching this line different than launching your other product lines? Right. Well, so Clean Boss is something that, you know, the uh, multi-surface disinfectant, uh, the most powerful botanical disinfectant cleaner and odor eliminator I've been working on for 10 years. So it wasn't a result of just the times. Uh, I happen to be a cleaning fanatic. So if my first invention was a little twist of a mop, right, you know that continued on. Um, but, you know, for me now, the direct voice to the consumer is critical, right? So what what I do and what the line of Clean Boss is and what we do it, you know, with my company now is that we have many ways of doing that. So it's not just HSN or QVC, right? It's also direct response. So it's creating a show about the product and that being on all channels. So if you turned on Food Network or if you turned on travel, um, you know, or DIY, you'd, you'd see it. And that marketing, again, it's not just a commercial, right? It's a, it's, you see the product and you're able to purchase it. So that's like the beginning of that circle of commerce. And then you add in like HSN and QVC where I do, you know, live presentations, and then you add in the clean boss site, right? Where they can shop and they can look at all the different products and that, you know, that digital, that digital connection, that ability to take and drive somebody there in various forms, whether in, in all social forms, right? They always have a place to go to learn about the product and you can have the live videos there. And so, you know, that is, and then the, the other stop is in retail, right? For those people who want to touch and feel and, you know, and, and so that, that again, I use this term that completes that circle of commerce. So you have to be today, everywhere the consumer is, right? So everywhere. And that puts you everywhere. And, and it doesn't matter if you're, you've got one product and you're starting a company, you know, it's different today. You can, you know, start a digital site. You know, we have things like Shopify and all these places that help 
a small business or entrepreneur begin their circle of commerce. You don't have to go to a destination spot like a QVC or HSN or a big retailer like Macy's or Lowe's, right? You can start it at your own pace. And I think that opens up a world, a world for entrepreneurs and small businesses. Let's talk about more about that direct line to the consumer, specifically on social platforms. How are you utilizing? Are you on TikTok? How are you utilizing Instagram? And what have you found in terms of tapping into these platforms? Certainly when Miracle Mop started, you couldn't make a TikTok video showing no. the, uh, the benefits of it. So, so yeah. how are you tapping into these platforms now? Well, I think, you know, you're absolutely correct. Uh, there, nothing like that existed, right? So today you, we are there where every, you know, we're everywhere, but for me that, you know, that's critical because people are looking for you everywhere and each form has a little bit different message or creative, right? But in my business personally, my platform has always been you know, HS at QVC and HSN. And for me, that affords me the biggest ability to, you know, to really talk about the features and benefits of, you know, so for instance, the clean boss disinfectant, right? Um, you know, the, it's the most powerful botanically based disinfectant, multi-surface cleaner and odor eliminator. I, there are, a, you know, about 50 critical facts about that product that, I am able to get it across as I just stroll through that product with the consumer on that platform, right? And so that's what we're doing with America's Big Deal. We're taking that and we're just really, you know, condensing it and making it that much more exciting for the entrepreneur to showcase their product there and have that viewer see that, see the features so they know what they're buying. And it really is effective because when somebody is buying that product then, so say for instance, on America's big deal, they know what it is. They know what it's, they know what they're buying. They've been educated through that way that we do it, you know, in a very big, bold way. <laughs> How do you apply that then to social platforms where you're making very short videos, you know, quick yes. videos, things like that? How are you applying that then to those platforms? Right. Well, uh, you know, you do, right? And the, the words I hear more in life, it, you have to say it in 20 seconds, Joy, not 20 minutes. <laughs> and I think, you know, and uh, we it's very easy to apply it, right? You know, obviously that, and then you are reaching so many more people in so many different ways. And I think, to be honest with you, in authentic ways, right? That's you know, to me is the, at the end of the day, it's the authenticity of a brand. It's, you know, knowing who's behind it and the history behind it. And we try to give those little snippets in social in different ways so that they really know that they're getting to know the product, right? Because a product is in your home if you're using it, you know, and I, I, as I said, I look at the world through product. So, to me, it's important that you're getting that message across in all forms of platform, all platforms. And as I said before, the consumer, you need to reach them everywhere in all different forms, in fun ways, in serious ways, right? You know, so I'll do something a little, a little quirkier, you know, on, on maybe the, you know, with Instagram or anything, you know, it's, it's, it, and it's all good, right? It's all good. They're becoming educated as to what they're buying. Joy, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you being here and uh, we'll look forward to, to seeing more of the show. That's right. Thursday nights, USA Network, 9 p.m. Thank you. And thank you so much to our sponsor, Salesforce. And as always, thank you to our Ad Age crew, Arabella Breck, Alfred Mascaroni, and Anna Sakula for making this live stream happen. We have a great slate of marketing agency, media, and tech leaders coming on remotely in the next couple of weeks. Check out adage.com slash remotely for more information. And thanks everyone for watching.